Ahoy, let's think. Today we answer the question, why do we get goosebumps? Goosebumps, goose pimples, goose flesh, or whichever name you may call it, has probably been experienced by everyone at some point in their lives. Whether it's due to cold weather or a stressful situation, it's something that happens involuntarily to all of us. We aren't goose, so where exactly did this name come from? If you look at goose bumps, they highly resemble the bumps on the skin of poultry after its feathers have been plucked. It's still a little unsure why exactly goose was chosen instead of a different bird, since this feature is common amongst other poultry. But why exactly do we get goosebumps? Goosebumps are a reflex, also known as piloerection or pilomotor reflex, that our body emits and causes little bumps on our skin to raise up, where the skin meets the hair. The bumps are formed when tiny muscles at the base of the hair contract and pull the hair upright. This psychological feature is all thanks to our ancestors, which was very useful to them long ago. In the past, our ancestors had a lot more hair all over their body than we do today. Goosebumps were very useful, as they would cause the hair to raise. When the hair would raise, it would then expand the layer of air. This would provide a type of insulation and help keep the body warm during the cold weather. It's still common today for animals with fur coats, but not very useful to us now. Another reason we may get goosebumps is a reaction to a strong emotion, such as fear, stress, or even excitement. Goosebumps will occur subconsciously due to the brain sending messages to the body. During times of high emotional levels, your brain will have your body release adrenaline, which causes your skin muscles to contract and create bumps. You can see this occur in animals, such as a frightened cat, whose hair will raise up on its end in order to make itself look bigger. Unfortunately, this feature also doesn't work for us. Although not very useful for us today, it's a trait that connects us to our ancestors. So that answers the question, why do we get goosebumps? That took some thinking.